Hey guys, it's the Gorilla Monkey here playing some EVE Online. I'm waiting to start recording this. And now I am. It's quite a good game. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. If you haven't, you should check it out. It's really fun. It looks complex, but it's quite easy to understand when you play the tutorials and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go on this acceleration game. It's, I'm just doing the first tutorial missions to show you the tutorial and then we'll get down to oh god. We're dropping FPS here, Jesus. It's not like this usually. It usually runs around 60 FPS. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Oh my screen it doesn't know if it isn't as laggy as the other video that I tried to make once. Tried to make some more DZ and well that did not turn out well. One reason it said it was at uh, 15 FPS which yeah it's quite bad but as I was playing it, it looks okay. And then when I went to start rendering it I looked at the footage and it was at about 5 FPS. Let me just get rid of the FPS count. Okay. Just so we, you don't see it because I can get away. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do the first few tutorial, or the first three tutorial missions. In this video, this time does fly quite quick. Docking station request kills are welcome. Docking request. I really want. I've got another character that's a lot better than this one in, in Minmatar Republic. And some of the ships on that just look epic. skill skills you basically you get these little skill books you train them up to level one and then you can just train them up more and usually you certain skills are required for to buy certain ships or install certain upgrades and do certain fitting or ammo and then you'll need other other skills for more things to get a to get a a skill, you need to have a certain skill that has a high level, like if you want to do get some Galente, more Galente for wheels, and you're going to have to train this up. And you're going to need to tra train this up as well for um, bigger ships. And there's that, uh, that, that one I just got repair systems. Hopefully, help me get the. Uh, well, that'll get me the repair module, whatever it's called. Armor repairer one, so then I can repair the, the small armor repairer one. Repair my ship's armor. It's not. You have shields, then you have armor, then you have hull, like structure. And shields, you are pretty easy to. They just regenerate on their own, and the. the uh, what's it? The boosters that you get to. Regenerate them quicker. They're quite cheap. Armor is a bit harder to repair. It doesn't repair on its own, but you can go to a repair shop here to get it repaired. But my ship's in full condition right now, so that's all good. Oh god, I don't mean to play that. Start by destroying. Oh, I must have got a little bit of it. Oh, did not mean to click that. This is on the tutorial. You've got a she gives you uh, the items you need to do this mission. So I have to go request a new mission, open fitting. I go up to a new weapons and she should give me some ammo as well. Unless it's a little bit of ammo. No, I haven't got any ammo great. Just great. Oh, I think she gives me it. Oh, sorry. 
but yeah, here's the arm. There's the arm repair. Let's get this turret put on and the arm repair. Now these, I think some, because you see this has got turret hard points and rocket hard, launcher hard points. They're basically these little things over here. Right now I've got a gun on it and it's actually on my ship. Get around to doing the next thing. She gives me ammo. Oh, I can just get the ammo now, can't I? There we go. Got some ammo. Now I can. Now I'm closing this down. Right, let's walk to the location then. Warp drive active. So, yeah, this is quite an old game. I mean, yeah, they obviously update the graphics and you know, loads of new things every time. And in the most recent, like, um, full, full on patch retribution, I think. Not sure what they added in the retribution. I think it's the whole bounty thing where you can um, hunt down people for being criminals. And then before they added loads of other things like incursion, they keep them in. You can incursion, it's basically like a. PvP, not PvP, PvE, uh, sort of like loads of random regenerated invasions where you can team up with other players and then fight them off to regain control of constellations in the universe. And the universe is set in, it's called New Eden, it's completely fictional. And also they recently, very recently, they added um, a new new um, game been made by the same a company CC has run out of charges. CCP Follow the tutorial then, you get to here, click next when I arrive at my mission location. Or oh, did I receive them at my... I bet they're at my home home base. Great, I'm going to have to go back. If they're not there, I'll buy some if I've got Walk enough money. Anti-matter charge S. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, they added a new game. Dust 514 made by the same people, CCP, and basically that's like a FPS. Loads of different, I think they're just custom mission sort of things where you've got to fight for control of places by completing objectives, but it's integrated into the EVE universe, meaning that it's on PS3 by the way, and PS3 players can um, talk to PC players and the PC players, what they'll do, they'll orbit the planet and then Talking request what you say, it oh, looks completely barren though, it's because it's a moon moon, but if say they were down on like a solid place with that they were having to fight on then the mercenaries, which are like the players on PS3 can um, like tag coordinates for people in the ships in EVE to go along and if they have the right like weapons on them and modules they can then like send in some ordnance and it's pretty cool because it's like the first instance uh, that I've seen where um, two platforms have been merged into one where they can communicate with each other I'd really like to see that if you could just play up PS3 you know like PS3 and Xbox combined like their servers but they won't do that because there's two different companies and they're probably trying to fight for the most money. Okay. There you are, you bugger. Let's put the rest of the ammo in there. Finally we can... Oh, press the start button. Right, so finally we can undock. 
Let me just have some lemonade. Oh my god, close. Okay. Now, let's go destroy that fuel depot. Warp drive active. Jesus Christ, we're flying through a planet. That's the sun. Oh, the sun, but the star. There's loads of other ships to get as well. And there's, um, I think, uh, you can, there's like challenges or certain things which the com company, the developers, like update into it and you can win ships I think. I'm not exactly sure. But I've seen some guys with some pretty cool looking ships which I haven't seen ever. Ever. Okay, here we go. Let's target the fuel depot. By the way, this character I'm gonna play in is gonna be military. I may go bandit, bandit mode. Kill some people just because I can. Pew pew! Just wanna see him go pew. Ready? Pew! Holy cow. It's like. Hardly any. Come in and. Gotta take a massive amount of damage. Great, my armor repairer. Repairing my armor. That would have been normally. This does a thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very slowly though. We'll just sit here until it's fully prepared and then I think we have to move on though. God, fight some real targets this time. Let's go activate the gate. Here we go. Here we go. First real combat. I'm gonna do. I should do fine. Not gonna get my hopes up though. I might fail epically. Warp drive active. I could have sworn it was attached to like. Some huge thing. Okay, get ready. Get ready to target the enemies. Okay, we have Un Bandit Saboteur. What's my range on my crap range? Wow. Keep it range of 1000. He's already coming to me, but how come to him? Open fire! Pew 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 pew! Pew pew! That's pretty epic when you have them large scale bounds with the other players. Oh, I didn't have any. Oh, great, another one. Oh my god! Pew pew! Damn, little truck. Whoa, leg spike. Did we win? Yeah, we won. Wait, let me just check. I actually have completed the mission. Tick. Wow, 500 ISK. Wow. Let's go talk. Warp drive active. Jesus. Absolutely, it does take a lot. 
vlogging request accepted. In the next episode, if you like funny, well, let's have a look. What have we got to do for the next mission? Okay, we gotta go. Okay, well, we'll see you. See you next time, guys. This has been the girl and monkey playing Eve Online. And I'm signing off.